great thing about New York City is there's a pizzeria just about on every block, and they're all busy. So that tells you something about, you know, New Yorkers' love affair with uh, with pizza. And this is this is a great venue. I mean, when people argue about well, who has the best pizza in New York, John's is always on the list. It's one of the largest pizzerias in New York, and they make a great slice. And we thought this would be the place to kick off our pizza initiation. Bola now is known as the official wine of pizza. You think about pizza, it's a social food. Everybody gets involved. It's warm, friendly, uh, it's inviting, it's unpretentious, it's fun. You sit down, enjoy. Same thing with Bola. They're very food-friendly wines. Some people like mushrooms, some people like sausage, pepperoni, meatballs, anchovies. There's different type of bowl of wines that go with each. Capolicella, Chianti, Suave, Pinot Grigio, and the top of the line, Amarone. So I think that pizza by itself is just so experimental. I mean, I think bowls are just a perfect match with, with pizza because it's just light, refreshing, easy to drink. There's a lot of combinations that work with all the wine styles. So that's why we feel it's good for the pizza business. We feel that's good for the wine business. And those together, as we say in the wine business, it's a beautiful pairing. And pizza is, you know, all American food, you know, even though it's Italian. <laughs> this is a momentous occasion because now we're celebrating 125 years. This has roots to Italy. It's the real thing, the passion. For over 125 years, Bola has been making wines. And it truly is now adopted by America as pizza was since 1883. Uh, it's a wonderful platform for us to launch our positioning as the official wine of pizza. The connection with that is the GIs coming back from Italy and they had yeah. the pizza over there which they loved and they had Bola wines which they loved and they came back and right after the war is when Bola started importing to uh, the U.S. in 1947, just 200 cases of Bartolino yeah. and now, uh, now we're over a million cases. Pizza wine, eh, it's a good uh, a good pair, honestly, because uh, we have a lot of wine, different wine. It is possible to have a lot of different pizza, because now we have pizza with cheese, pizza with seafood, with uh, meat, with uh, every vegetables, and so we have for any single pizza we have a, a, a real perfect wine to pair with uh, the richness of our wine is because in Italy the the wine is uh, so tied to the territory. The name of the wine is not uh, the varieties, like uh, Cabernet, Chardonnay, uh, Shiraz. It's the name of the location, Suave, mm -hmm. Valpolicella, Chianti, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, the name of uh, the territory. The traditional culture, the, uh, yeah. the, the old way of doing things that have been passed from generation to generation. 